Hi and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be doing the weekend roundup. Um, we're going to be going through the basically the scores of the teams throughout uh, this past weekend, and we'll be seeing how I did in terms of my score predictions because I did do score predictions for the uh, games this weekend. So let's see how I did and if I got any of them correct. Uh, starting off, we've got the Newcastle versus West Ham game. Um, I had predicted Newcastle to win 2-1 and um, what happened is Newcastle actually ended up winning the game 4-3. So I didn't get the score correct, but I did however get the result correct. So I was sure Newcastle would win because they often do well at home. So good to see Newcastle have won. And then moving on, we've got Bournemouth versus Everton. I had predicted a 2-1 win for Bournemouth. And guess what? Bournemouth won 2-1. So I got that one spot on. So good for me. Moving on, we've got Chelsea versus Burnley. I was sure Chelsea will beat uh, Burnley. Like these guys are a disgrace, man. Chelsea Football Club. You guys are an absolute disgrace. I know Man United aren't doing so well right now, but to fail to beat Burnley at home. And if I didn't watch the game, but apparently Chelsea were 2-0 up with a few minutes to go and Burnley had a red card and yet Burnley were still able to score two goals. Nah, Poch. They might need to set Pochettino come the end of the season. Like it's not looking good at all because they drew 2-2 against Tenman Burnley at Stamford Bridge. And then the next game was um, Nottingham Forest versus Crystal Palace. I predicted a 1-1 draw. And yet again, I was spot on. I got the results correct as well as the score. As the game ended 1-1 draw. And then moving it on, we've got uh, Sheffield United versus Fulham. I predicted a 3-0 win for Fulham. Uh, the game ended up as a 3-3 thriller. So I didn't get that one correct, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it happens. Anyways, moving on, we've got Tottenham versus Luton. I predicted a 4-1 win for Spurs. But what actually happened is Spurs only won 2-1. So I got the score wrong, but I got the, the result correct. So that's good. Anyways, moving on, we've got Aston Villa versus Wolves. I got this one totally, totally wrong. I thought Wolves were coming into this game with a bit of momentum, good form. I thought they beat uh, Villa. Even though Villa have got a uh, good record at home, I knew that. But I just thought Wolves might just do well in this game. But unfortunately... Uh, Villa won 2-0, which doesn't help Man United in terms of the, the, the fight for top five. Uh, speaking of Man United, they were also another team which was absolutely disgraceful this weekend. Eric Ten Hag needs to be sacked. He needs to be sacked. We cannot continue with this guy. He's a fraud and he just, uh, like, the, the football we play is an absolute embarrassment. Like... The players we've got, I know we don't have the best of players, but surely the players we have are good enough to be playing better than they're currently playing right now. I mean, Ten Hag is just, for me, is just failing to get the best out of them. But anyways, Manchester United drew 1-1 after I predicted they would beat Brentford 2-1. Uh, we drew 1-1. Even the goal we got in the last minute goal from Mason Mount in the 96th minute, I was happy for the boy, but unfortunately, United did what they do best, and they just capitulated. So that meant that we didn't get the, that meant that we didn't get the three points. Um, however, uh, yeah, for me, the top, the, the, the top four or top five, top four is definitely gone. Like I had already said before the game, but maybe top five, I'm not sure, but that's not looking promising at all. But anyways, we're going to keep it moving to the games on Sunday. We had Liverpool versus Brighton. Um, and in this game, I predicted Liverpool to win 4-1. I thought they'd smash, uh, Brighton, but, uh, they only won by two goals to one. So again, I got the score wrong but the, i got the results correct so in terms of the last game which was meant to be the game in which super sunday was based on manchester city versus arsenal at the etihad it ended nil nil how this game ended nil nil i mean this this was a snooze fest and honestly i thought city would lose the game I, I went into that game confident that arsenal would not lose the game come on me i mean in the original weekend preview that I did, I predicted a 2-2 draw, but then I just felt Arsenal would win. They'd have too much for Man City. And in the end, they drew nil-nil. But then what did happen was, uh, the following day when I did the, the Man City versus Arsenal preview, um, 
well i did the combined 11 and i actually gave my thoughts i think towards the end of the video i said i'm changing my score prediction i think arsenal would win the game 2-1 Unfortunately, they drew nil nil, so that means that Liverpool are back on top, which is so flipping annoying because no one wants to see Liverpool win this league. Let's be honest, apart from Liverpool fans, of course. But anyways, that Manchester City game versus Arsenal for a game that was seen as a potential title decider, it was absolutely boring. Like it, there was nothing there. I don't understand what the hell was going on. Like how on earth are two of the best? Well, two two out of three of the best. Uh, two two teams that made uh, they are part of the top three rather in the Premier League going for a, a potential title decider playing that badly like that game was so 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 boring it was boring like genuinely I was expecting expecting blood blood and thunder but no what we got was a team that just went there Arsenal Ateta look don't get me wrong this season has taken four points from Man City which is an impressive feat on its own but the fact that going into this game i just had the feeling city and not be they've not been the same city that we know this, this season they've not they've been shaky they haven't looked as dominant as they usually are and if ever there's a chance it was now i thought if arsenal won that game yesterday i would have actually started to think you know what the momentum is going to carry arsenal to the league title but now that they've drawn Liverpool and, and now Liverpool are back on top. You look at Liverpool's fixtures between Liverpool, Arsenal and City. Liverpool definitely have the easier fixtures, which means there's a higher chance of Liverpool winning all their games until uh, uh, the, the season comes to an end, basically. Um, they might not win all of them, but I, I can see Liverpool winning more games that are remaining than City and Arsenal because I know those guys still have, they've got difficult fi fixtures. City, I still have, is it Spurs? I don't know, but they, they still got... Basically, City's games are more challenging. City and Arsenal's games are more challenging than the Liverpool ones. So, unfortunately, I think Liverpool might just win the league title. I've been saying that I feel like they're going to win it for Klopp. It's his, it's his last season. And it's looking like it. yesterday's draw just... For me, it told me I don't... Arsenal are not ready to win the Premier League title. And neither are Man City. Well, City have been winning. What am I saying? They're not ready. But they're not, I don't think they're going to win it this season. They might do the back-to-back -back with the Champions League, but not with the Premier League. But, um, yeah, man, the game was disappointing yesterday. We, we were expecting much, much better. But what we got, it was just nonsense, honestly. Way below par. The big game players, Erling Haaland. Yet another big game that is ghosted, by the way. This guy has been poor this season when it comes to the big games, against the big six. Of course, he always scores against United because United are rubbish. But... Against Chelsea, he was non-existent. Against Liverpool, like the big games against Arsenal, the Emirates, again at, at the Etihad as well, non-existent. I know this guy is, is, is a phenom. He can score goals, he's a machine, he's a robot, cyborg, whatever you want to call him. But this guy is six foot four or six foot five, if I'm not mistaken. He's strong, he's quick. Where's the hold up play from him? A player like Didier Drogba used to use his physique so well. Hold the play up, bring the wingers and the, the other players on the team uh, into the game. Holland doesn't do that. All he wants is just, just score goals, like tap in or whatever, just finish. But he's not, I don't see him interchanging and play with other City players, bringing uh, other players into the game. All he does, he just wants to score. But yesterday, Saliba and Flippin, what's his name? Gabriel, they locked him up. He was non existent the whole game. Phil Foden, Bukayo Saka, the two star boys. Nothing from them yesterday. Not, absolutely zeros from them. Like, it, it, it was a disappointing game for me. I mean, for the game to end with more than 700 passes for Man City, but then they only had one shot on target. Then with Arsenal, I think they had, I don't know, 200, 300 passes, whatever. But they only had flipping two shots on target. I know Gabriel Jesus is a waste man because chances he was getting him, just couldn't even hit the, the target at least. <sighs> they need a striker, Arsenal, you know, to challenge for the title next summer. Uh, no, not the next, next season, rather, but... To be honest, when it comes to the Man City versus Arsenal game, I was left quite disappointed. It was just a waste of my time. And I'm not going to get the 90 minutes back that I spent watching that draws. But either way, uh, it's a nil nil draw for City and Arsenal. Good news for Liverpool. Back on top of the league. If you're asking me, I think it's done. I think Liverpool are going to win the title. Unless if something happens, they slip up. Praying something happens. Liverpool bottle it towards the end. Because I'm not trying to see them win the league title, to be honest. Uh, but anyways, yeah, 
those were my that was my those are my thoughts on this weekend's uh games um and that brings us to the end of the weekend roundup um we've got premier league games during the week this season from tomorrow night actually game week 31 kicks off so sometime tomorrow i'm gonna drop a week i don't know if it's a weekend preview like i usually call it because it's during the week I'm call it some, like the weekly preview or something i'll see but i'll definitely be doing a video tomorrow and um yeah i'll be previewing the the upcoming games so yeah i'll see you soon so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel like the video share the video uh drop a comment let me know what your thoughts are on the video and uh, i'll see you soon